are you going to be voting? Probably for Labour Party, if anything. And why is that? No idea. My friend tells me to. <laughs> and can you name your current MEP right now? No. <laughs> Not at all. I'm Jessica Shvantinovsky with Rebel.media out in Manchester today trying to talk to people out here. Uh, first of all, trying to see if they actually are aware that there is an election happening right now and seeing what they may have heard of the candidate Tommy Robinson for this region. Let's go take a look. Have you heard anything about Tommy Robinson running for MEP in the region? Yeah, he's a con. <laughs> and why, why is that? <laughs> you know why, but she won't be asking. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Can you give me why? Why do you think that? He's racist. He's Islamophobic, and he's a cunt. And can you give me an example, though? Like what? Like what, something he said or done that shows that he's racist or Islamophobic? Anything that comes out of his mouth is relatively bad. You know? Do you guys uh, know anything about Tommy Robinson running for MEP in the area? Um. Why is, why is he that word? <laughs> he deserves to have milkshake thrown over him. He's just offensively offensive. I'll be honest, he's just odd. It just boils my bubbles. And so in your opinion, do you think it's somewhat racist to criticize Islam the way he does? I think it's racist to criticize Islam the full stop. I mean, it's just wrong. To be fair though, if a racist person was in charge of a country or a, a state or a county of that man, that would be weird. Imagine if that happened somewhere else in the world. No, nothing springing to... Oh yeah, Trump. That's it. Have you heard of Tommy Robinson uh, running for MEP? Yeah, he's a fascist. What makes him a fascist? Uh, his views. Can you give me a specific example? Um, he seems to believe that um, all people who of the Islamic faith are awful, generally. He's an awful man. Is it, is it racist to criticize Islam? Uh, I think Tommy Robinson's an awful person. Thank you. So you guys are both anti-Tommy. Uh, can I ask why? Um, don't support fascism. What makes him a fascist exactly? Um, well, just some views that I wouldn't agree with. I don't know. Have you heard anything about Tommy Robinson running for MEP in this region? Uh, I have. Yes, I have heard about it. And so what exactly have you heard? He's... Uh, He's the, the Brexit, is it the Brexit party they're calling themselves? I but it's just another name for racism. It's not really, it makes any, no difference to me because I won't be voting him and no will anyone I know, so. And uh, can you give me an example of what's something uh, racist that he said or done in the past? Uh, well, I know that he was, he was a former conservative and now he's on the Brexit party and the Brexit by nature is racist. Uh, and so he, is, he is running as an independent. Oh, is he? Oh, uh, okay. But it's called the Brexit Party, right? That he's... No. No? Oh, uh, okay. That is another party, though. That's Nigel what? Farage's party. Oh, is he not UKIP anymore? Oh, uh, I'm bad. I'm down on the times, right? I don't know. It's because I don't involve myself in anything like that. Yeah, I've heard about him. Um, I won't be voting for him, that's for sure. And why won't you be voting for him? I don't believe in his politics, um, that particular party at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm a strong Remainer. I'm a liberal by nature, so I'll hardly be voting for someone like that. And, uh, do you think it's racist to criticize Islam? He's very racist. He's very racist. Should it not be allowed in the, in the UK? No, it's not about not allowed. He needs to fix himself. He needs to become as a human. That's what he's about. What have you heard about him? Um, about his this election, I haven't heard a lot, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of his or his policies. I think he's a bit of a bigot, to be honest. And what makes him a bigot? Well, he's just incredibly racist, isn't he? You know, he's very, um, uh, his policies are very far, very far right. They're not in line with the way that I think. I, I like to think about things from a much more um, uh, liberal point of view. And can you give me an example of something uh, like a racist policy or something that he said? Uh, no, not on these current ones, no. If, if elected, these MEP, who, who knows who your last MEP was? Anyone know? No. Anyone know anything they said or done? No. No? Nothing at all. Who are they? Yeah. Who are they? Who are these people getting paid £96,000 a year? Do you know that there is an MEP election happening right now? Yes. And are you going to be voting? Yes, I will be. Do you know who you'll be voting for? Not really, not yet. And can you name the current MEP of the region? I need to do my research so that I can really decide. 
But who is the current, like, sitting in uh, European Parliament right now for this region? I have no idea because I haven't done my research. Okay. And were you aware that there was an election happening right now for MEP? Yes, yes. And uh, are you going to be voting? Yeah, of course. And can you name your current MEP in this region? No, I'm not from here, but I will be voting someone, probably Labour. And are you guys going to be voting um, in this election? Um, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Do you know who you'll be voting for? I don't know. It's pri private choice, I would say. I don't know. It's true, yeah, it's true. Yeah. And do you guys, can you guys tell me who's your uh, current MVP? Um, I've just moved to England, so I'm not sure. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Do you know the I actually can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> can you name your current MEP? That's terrible, I can't. For, I know Farage got voted in as MEP once. That upset me, but I, no, I, that's terrible. I should know. I feel ashamed. I should know. Can you guys name your current MEP? No, I can't, no. Sorry. Uh, are you going to be voting uh, for the MEP election? Yes, I will be. And can you name your current MEP? No, I can't. Um, I'm not sure in my seat presently, but I'll be voting for Liberal. D can you name your current MEP? MVP? MEP. Member of European uh, Parliament? Uh, no, to be honest, I haven't. I haven't know. Uh, I don't have any clue. Uh, are you going to be voting uh, this election? I don't know yet. I'm not. I didn't decide yet because I need, of course, vote, but I didn't decide for who, but not for him. And um, can you name your current MEP? I don't know yet. I didn't, I didn't read about anyone yet, to be honest. Are you going to be voting? Probably for Labour Party, if anything. And why is that? No idea. My friend tells me to. <laughs> and can you name your current MEP right now? No, <laughs> not at all. Did you, did you know that there was an election happening right now? No. Did you guys know that there was an election happening right now? No. <laughs> no. no. Would you be able to name your MEP? Like the current MEP? So, uh, no, I don't know. So you said you'll be voting um, this election? Uh, yes, I will, yeah. And can you name uh, the current MEP of this region? No, I can't. Would you be able to name the current uh, MEP in this region? Current MEP, member, me like current MEPs, okay. member of parliament. Um, you know what, yeah. Oh no, I don't know a lot about Parliament, but I know Parliament's benefiting me, you get me. I'm highly benefited, you get me. So I just finished talking to some people out here in Manchester, and it doesn't seem like a lot of people were aware that there was an election happening right now, but when I'm talking to them further, they said they're definitely gonna vote, but they just don't know for who, and they're also not really aware of who their current MEP is for their region. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Jessica Shventniewski. <laughs> I'm here in the UK to report on Tommy Robinson's campaign because I don't trust the mainstream media to do it fairly. To see all my videos and to help support us and cover the cost of my journey, please visit TommyReports.com. Unlike the BBC, we don't get government funding and we depend 100% on viewers like you.